Hello everyone, welcome back to the Life and Times of Mulch. That's me. Today we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six issues of ET. Don't stress. They're very, very small things to do and easy to follow. I've had a quick look and it's nothing too taxing, so we should be good. But it is getting bigger. I might have to set my camera on the ceiling. These builds are just getting bigger and bigger. Didn't really think that through, did I? Anyway, let's go and build the next six stages of ET. I nearly lost my glasses. Let's go. Welcome back everybody to building the iconic E.T. extraterrestrial from E.T. the film made famous by Steven Spielberg. We are back and we have got the next six issues. I'm going to do all six because I've had a look ahead and there's not really that much to do. So let's crack on with stage 33. And these are the parts for 33. Let's get them open. So in this pack, we've got two PTPB screws. <laughs> oh, this is such a mouthful. And we've got four of the PTPD screws, which are longer ones. We've also got this gray piece. That's got a nice bit that says up on it. And we have this black piece here. Before we do anything, you're going to need this piece that we've created. Uh, just a little heads up, this piece is the front and the back where you've got these two like hooks or bars or handles or whatever you want to call them, that's the back, okay, just for reference. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the smaller of the two lots of screws we've got, which is the B type, and we're going to take our construction here, looking at this side, there's the back, so we're looking at this side, we're going to match up this piece, which on it, it shows you which way up it's going to go. So put that at the top, so that's facing up. Up is facing up, and we're going to screw that in there with them two B screws. Okay, so that'll look like that, and like that. Now, the larger D-type screws and this gray piece we don't use in this stage, so keep them to one side. So let's move on to stage 34. And these are the parts for said stage. Let's get them open. All right, in this pack, you've got, or in this stage, sorry, you've got four more of the PTPD type screws. They're the longer ones. We've also got the B type, which is slightly shorter. And in this stage there's another two screws which are slightly shorter still and they're just PTPs. Also got this grey piece and another one of these same as the other one it says up on that side and quite simply we're going to go to the other side and we're going to put this on just like we did on the other side with it facing the right way so it says up on there you see it, there it is. And we'll get that screwed in with them B-type screws. And there you go, there's the other half of that done. And that's everything to do in that stage. So again, we keep the gray piece, we keep the big D-types to one side, and the PTP, keep them safe as well. Moving on very quickly, as you can tell, to stage 35. And these are the parts for 35. Okay, slightly different this time. We've got this little spindle that's got a thread on the end. Got this big metal turning bar, some description. Got a bearing. And we've got this little P 
pin as well. All right, first thing we need to do is put the bearing on the end of here. Then taking the part with, that we got in issue 33 on this side, we're just going to push that bearing in that hole using this tool. And once that's in, remove this and that should look like that. Then we need to take this pin and it has to go in the end of this bar there. Now you'll see that it's quite loose. So they're saying to glue that. So I'm going to put a little bit of super glue in there and glue that up. Once that's in, the, uh, you put your pin through there, you're going to push this through there like that. Now moving on to 36. And these are said parts for 36. Let's get it open. All right, in 36 we have this plastic piece here. We have another one of these metal like gearing parts. Another bearing. Small washer. Then we have a nut and a bolt. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bearing like we did the other one, push that over the end of there. Then we're going to take our piece that we got from uh, stage 34 and we're going to basically push the bearing in the middle again using this tool making sure it's right in there nice and flush then we're going to take this plastic piece and we're going to take it that way around so the smaller end at the bottom and we're going to take our shaft and put that in so it's just placed in like that and on the opposite side you'll see there's a notch that marries up with that put that over the other side so you'll look like that and take your bolt put your washer over the end of the bolt And then put the bolt through this side all the way through and we'll come out the other side get the nut in first and then we can get the bolt in there and we can screw that bolt into the end okay that's screwed all the way through that should move freely and that'll look like that all right now we need to take this piece that we got in the earlier stage that we put the the uh, bearing in a slightly bigger one it's got up on both of these pieces if i hadn't mentioned it before make sure you're both facing the same way first thing we're going to do with this one is we're just going to place that in there like that not screwing it just placing it in the middle then we're going to bring over the other one facing in that way still with up facing the same way as the other side and put that over the other side like that then we're going to take the ptp screws the ones that we had in the last stage and we're going to screw that in there and in there so that's all screwed in so that's what it should look like from the front and that's what it should look like from the back. And this should also move quite freely. Moving on to stage 37. And here are the parts for 37. All right, in this stage, we've got some smaller screws for this build. And these are FPT, no, FTP screws, these ones. And also got this plastic piece here. This thinner piece here, and then this piece here. First thing we're going to do, quite simply, we're going to take this and we're going to take this piece, and it's got a slight ridge, so make sure that ridge is sloping up. We're going to put that over the top 
line it up, and then we're going to put them four F. <laughs> so, but then we're going to put the four FTP screws in. God, it's so confusing all these screw names. And get that screwed in. I'll do that now. Okay, that should look like that. Now, if we bring this piece over here, you'll see. On here, there are a couple of notches on the front there. They marry up with the notches on this piece. So we're just going to put that over the top and line it up. So that'll look like that. And then we're going to take this piece with the same, same pattern. Let's try and get that in focus. And that's going to go over the top of here. You'll feel when it's engaged and that's going to look like that. Yeah, lastly, stage 38. I told you they were quick stages and the last few small parts for 38. Let's get this open. So in 38 we've got this little tool here that looks like a spanner of some description. Got a big tough old spring there, a couple of silver washers, plastic piece there, and a nut. So, bringing over what we've created, basically, we're going to put a washer, then the spring, and then another washer. So, spring, washer, uh, Spring washer, spring, washer, spring washer. And then we're going to place the plastic piece that we got over the top. That's going to look like that. Then we're just going to quite simply take our nut and we're going to screw that onto the end of here. And then using our tool, we're going to tighten that up. Spanner over the end and then we can tighten that up. Nice and gently, and it'll be compressing that spring. And then it says in the instruction book to have the thread of that poking out by just about two mil. So get your ruler and just measure two mil. All right, then we're going to bring over this. Now remember again that this is the front and the back has got the handles on. Okay, so I'm going to have the front facing me. Then this is going to go in the middle here. Okay, that's going to go in the middle and it's going to engage with these four points on either side. Okay, so that's going to look like that. And then finally, using the big D type screws, we're going to screw all that in. So four either side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's get that screwed in. And that is all screwed in. My advice is put a little bit of pressure behind this side as you're screwing it in just so it engages, but they're all in. And that's what that should all look like. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but when you get the screws on this particular part work, there's never any spares. So just be aware and just uh, try not to lose any screws because they so far, they haven't given me any spares for screws. So there you go. And that's all in. This body of ET is getting bigger and bigger. Ta da Six stages done. And he has almost doubled his body height. And we've created this. Now, I don't know what this is for. I think this is for maybe his neck. Uh, I should probably read what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, but like I say, it looks like we've done a lot, but we've not really done that much at all. Um, the amount of screws we had, we had maybe eight, nine, ten, I don't know, 15 screws maybe. So not a lot to do, but this is what we've created in the end. We've created this in the centre, and it is very, very strong. The structure of this internally is very, very strong, which is going to be good because obviously when you move your ET around, you don't want it to fall to bits. So that's good to know. 
but this is all smooth and nice so when the motor is running obviously this will uh, will work you see there is head or his neck or whatever it does I should really read up on it but that's what we've got that's the front the sides and the back uh, there's not a lot of weight to it because it's all pretty much plastic there's a little bit of metal in there but otherwise it's all plastic I will mention again they don't give you any spare screws so just be careful don't lose the screws and uh, there you go that's where we're at with the ET structure thus far he looked very different in the film didn't he anyway I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching this has been the life of times of mulch I've been Mr Mulch and we'll see you next time for more build ET or other things who knows Yorkshire tea time catch you later